Welcome to Rootcaster, my name is John Nelson and today we're going to be taking a quick look at this Rose RS150. This is the second product from Rose in the UK uh, and it's their high-end streaming product. It's focused primarily on audio but it also has some video capabilities as well. Let's have a look what we get in the box. Okay, so first thing in the box we see is an accessory box. I'll just get everything out. Uh, first, it's in, packed in a very strong uh, compressed foam packaging and as you can see the RS150 is contained within a bag within the actual packaging internally. Let's lift it out and have a look. Alright, so we've now got it out of the box. Let's just take off the, the outside box bag. Okay, so we've got the unit out of the box now. We'll just put it on a turntable, then we can have a good 360 view of the actual product. So I've put it on our turntable here. Um, this is, so this is straight out of the box. Uh, on the top here, we've got uh, a protective film. So we'll just take that off. That reveals, and that reveals the uh, rather nicely finished. It's made out of beautiful aluminium uh, chassis very nicely finished and the main feature that will become apparent when we actually uh, switch this on is got a full fascia uh, color display 14.6 inch wide color display so you can control this unit using entirely the touch screen on the front or with a bluetooth remote that comes with it uh, or indeed with an app that runs on a smart device so i'll just give it a quick 360 so you can see this uh, large display on the front if i spin it round you can see the aluminium case on the top you've got a cnc rose logo this is obviously the unit in black uh, it is available in silver as well uh, and there you just get a, a brief glimpse of the uh, connectivity on the back this is a, an audio centric device it's a high quality network streamer uh, it does have some video capabilities as well uh, and we'll go through those shortly when we hook it up. All right, so that's a th quick 360 of it. Uh, what we'll do is just have a quick look, a bit more detail at the connectivity on the rear of the unit. Okay, so we'll just go through the back of the unit now. Uh, as you can see, we've got mains on-off switch here with an IEC input. It's got a linear power supply built into it. And then we've got various inputs. So we've got uh, AES EBU in, uh, HDMI ARC in, for, uh, we've got AES EBU out. Um, it also features I2S out as well, uh, and you can configure it using this. Got a USB input, uh, optical input, optical output, coaxial in and output. Then you've got a line inputs. Uh, obviously it's got a DAC in it, this unit's got a high quality AK DAC in it. Uh, you've got unbalanced outputs, balanced outputs. And as we go a bit further around, I'll spin it a little more. HDMI output, various USB inputs, um, micro SD card, an ethernet connection. This device does do uh, wired ethernet, uh, because it's an aluminium case, they provide you with an external uh, Wi-Fi dongle adapter which goes in here if you want to do it that way. It's also got Bluetooth on it as well. Give that a quick 360 close-up. And as you can see, you can see the touchscreen here. It's all touchscreen, so your on-off and your volume control is all done on the touchscreen. So let's just have a quick look at what uh, accessories we get with the product comes in a nice brown box, fits in the top. Uh, first thing is a simple manual uh, and getting starting guide. We get some uh, batteries for our remote control, a UK mains plug, a set of screws. Uh, you can fit an internal hard drive in this unit and that will allow us to mount the internal hard drive if we wanted to. So the batteries are four, so that's a Bluetooth remote control. Uh, so you can control it using the Bluetooth remote control, touch screen on the front of the device, uh, as well as an app that runs on uh, Apple and Android products. 
And here is the uh, Wi-Fi adapter that you can plug into the back of the unit if you want it to uh, operate on Wi-Fi. We've had a quick look at what's in the box. Let's power it up, connect it to an amp and some speakers and just have a quick tour of what the unit's capable of. Okay, so we've uh, connected it up, uh, we've added power, uh, we've got it connected using the balanced outputs to a power amp uh, and that onto a pair of speakers. And we've also connected an HDMI cable to the monitor above us here. So we switch it on using the touch screen at the front here. Uh, it boots up. This is the first time it's been on, so we will have to go through a setup process. There's probably likely to be some uh, updates to the firmware. Those are all done over the air. So we just keep going through uh, confirming the up software updates. But first of all, uh, we have to select the language. Rose is a South Korean company, so uh, uh, it defaults to Korean, but we're English. So we'll select English and press Next. And everything we do is on the... Um, uh, it's on this touch screen, so we don't need to do this on any uh, computer at this point. We can set the whole unit up just using the touch screen on the front. It's a beautiful display, as you can see, full size here, touch screen, very sharp and very crisp image. So it allows me to select London as the time zone. Keyboard, uh, I presume you can connect some kind of keyboard to navigate as well if you want to. Uh, maybe use a Bluetooth keyboard if you wanted to use some of the features. So that'll be for English. We'll select the keyboard layout. Um, we've connected this to our network, so it's automatically come up uh, with an IP address that I would expect on our network. Uh, we could have used the wireless dongle in the back and connected it wirelessly. Uh, it also supports uh, Bluetooth as well. So we go next. So setup's now complete. And we can now, uh, it now comes up with a tutorial, uh, which will take us through all the features on the actual product. But we're going to skip that for now and we'll just dive straight into the product. And you can see the, uh, the main screen here. Ah, and, and what's happened is we've gone in here, it says there's various upgrades. So we'll just cycle through these upgrades. They're all free over the air. I just do yes and it will then go through uh, and do the update. We'll come back when it's finished doing its, all, all its updates. We've done all the firmware updates now. We're just going to power it on uh, and see what the main interface looks like. So initially, we come up with the, the Rose logo. And in fact, the screen above me is now also just flicked into life. And currently, it's got nothing on there apart from some branding and what the display resolution is. Uh, it's in 4K at 60p. And then, as you can see, on the front of the device here, you've got this fantastic uh, touchscreen display, very clear, very crisp, very reactive. And you can see some of the icons that we've got on the front of the unit. So we've got uh, CD playing, CD ripping. Uh, if you connect a USB CD drive to it, you can play CDs directly through it, or indeed you can rip them. Um, you can fit an internal hard drive in this, uh, with either solid state or a conventional hard drive and store content directly so you can play directly on it and you have also got uh, Tidal and Quobuz uh, built into the unit as well. Uh, I've just been into Tidal, I've entered my uh, username and credentials into Tidal and you go in and you can see all the usual things that you would expect within Tidal and I can search for an app here if I want to search for uh, yellow oh, where we go so it's found tracks by yellow so let's play f till tomorrow um, it comes up on the screen what it's actually playing uh, we've turned the volume down here so we don't have issues with copyright on the video but at this point uh, if we increase the volume over here uh, with the touch screen, I can drag it up here and you can hear it playing through our system. Uh, again, I will turn that down so we don't have any, any copyright issues. So it tells us what's playing, shows us on the screen behind us uh, if you've got an HDMI connected to it. Alright, so we're, we're playing yellow and again I've now switched back from the information to the uh, VU meters. It's a very responsive screen um, and gives you this fantastic display. So we've had a look at the uh, Tidal, uh, Quobos, similar. Uh, you've got podcasts, uh, a selection of those. You've got a, a 
different clocks that you can specify different formats uh, and these can go as, as screen savers um, quite a nice feature uh, similarly you've got uh, you can get into settings and configure and you can turn off various icons if you don't want any of uh, to see some of this stuff uh, you've got line out settings so you can configure exactly what the unit's doing so it's got some very uh, sophisticated uh, settings where you can configure the nature of the output whether it's a fixed for example or a variable uh, level output so we've had a brief look at the audio capabilities uh, it's obviously got tidal it's got quobos uh, it's a dlna upmp uh, device it's rune ready so you can drive it from rune uh, it's got an internal, you can fit an internal hard drive in here so you can play from content directly on the unit or other devices on your network like a network attached storage device or a dedicated audio server. And, and that's all good for audio services. When we're playing internet radio or when we're playing uh, from Tidal or Quobos it displays the metadata uh, out of the HDMI if you want to have that visible. It tells us what the format is what the bit rate is, whether it's in MQA or whatever the format might happen to be. It's also got what they call Rose Tube, which is actually a, a skin for, for YouTube. And here we can actually search for anything. Now, typically, uh, we would obviously uh, be looking for, let's say, for music videos, etc. But I can search for anything on, on video. So let's, let's be, uh, we'll, we'll search for Ripcaster. And this will show... Uh, the uh, Ripcaster. So we've done our searches and it's come up with our uh, so it's come up with our list of videos on YouTube and I can go and I can go and search through all the videos on the YouTube. I encourage you to go and do that yourself. So it's come up with uh, all our Ripcaster videos and there's uh, one that we did on the uh, baby brother of this one, the RS201E. So if I click on that and press play, it will play the video on the front of the unit. Uh, you can see it up on the main screen. And I believe if I click up here, it will actually change the metadata here and it will show the actual video content directly on the actual screen. Uh, let's see if I can find uh, something which is a bit more interesting to watch. If I put in London Grammar, It'll show us, and there's a live concert of London Grammar's latest album, and I can play, and we're gonna get the sound coming out of our speakers, and we're gonna get the corresponding video coming out on the uh, device. And I, I can, if we've not got an external screen, if I turn the TV off, then that video is actually displayed directly on the front of the unit. So a very interesting feature for those who want to listen to high quality music and also want to be able to listen to uh, or watch uh, stream content as well. So a brief introduction to the Rose RS150. It's a very high quality product, beautifully built. Obviously it's got a fantastic touch screen. It's got a Bluetooth remote. It's got an app that comes with it. It's got a high quality AQ4499 EQ DAC in it. High precision Femto clock, linear power supply. It's rune ready. DLNA, Quobos, Tidal, MQA, DSD, DXD. It's got internet radio. You can fit an internal hard drive in it. It does CD playback if you connect a USB drive. It does CD ripping if it's got an external drive, etc. So fully featured product, high performance sound. I recommend you come to Ripcaster, come and explore the Rose range and the other brands that we sell. Thanks for watching.